What's up, YouTube family? I'm Roscoe T, and you're watching Rosco the first Roscoe T vlogs video in over a year. And I know that's that's totally crazy that it's been that long, but uh, that's about to change today. And for those of you wondering, the title to the video was not a ploy. I'm really today going to show you how to make a cold air brake system for your vehicle using a couple pop bottles and an old vacuum cleaner. And uh, the video, the Vehicle I'm going to be using today is my 1999 Chevrolet S10 LS Extreme, and uh, yeah, let's see how this goes. See, leave, make sure after you watch the video, leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Tell me what I could have improved on, and uh, maybe I'll make another video to this. Feels good to be back. I hope you all don't hate me after being gone for so long. Now, before I get into showing you guys how to build this brake cooling system. I'm going to go ahead and give a little explanation of how it works and the whole principle behind it for those of us in the audience who don't quite understand what, it, what the whole purpose of having one in your vehicle would be. Now, the most basic parts of a uh, cold air system for your brakes is a scoop which goes in the front of the car and takes in all the air while the car is moving and then a pipe that will take it from the scoop and take it to your brakes specifically the rotors to cool off the brakes and really the reasoning behind having this system is as most of us know colder brakes work way more efficiently than red hot flaming brakes do and so this helps to keep the brakes cool during really fast track moving and just all kinds of performance situations really and also for those of us who don't really go on the track one of the things it can really help with is um, if you have a vehicle that brakes from the front primarily, you get this problem a lot. Black dust gets all over your rims from the brakes. They bleed all over the all over the rims of your vehicle. And believe it or not, keeping your brakes cool can actually prevent this from happening a little longer. It can it can it can significantly decrease it. I'm, it's not going to stop it. I know that for sure, but it will decrease how much black dust gets all over your rims and maybe make your wash job lasts a little longer be nice you know keep your rims all shiny also it's just awesome to be able to say that uh, you have a cooling system for your brakes because your vehicle is that much of a performance vehicle even though mine's a pickup truck materials we're gonna need to, to accomplish this are actually pretty simple I mean you are gonna need a vacuum cleaner now please use a broken one I used a broken one this is not the one I used I'm just using it as the prop for this video but please use a broken one don't take anyone's working vacuum cleaner and destroy it then also like I stated before two pop bottles hopefully with if you can with tops this portion both the same exactly the same as you can see these bottles are they're both the rounded not the straight curved ones and then cutting tools just some basic cutting tools I have very large scissors, very small scissors, and an X-Acto knife for cutting stuff. Just basic cutting tools. That's really all the tools you're going to need for this. Also, to attach it to the vehicle, I, believe it or not, I just use straight up zip ties. Now, these are industrial, heavy duty, like super, super strong. These are like, you could use these as handcuffs on people, basically. And I have quite a few of them here that I use to attach the uh, hosing to the vehicle. And that's really, that's it for materials. It's it's pretty simple to do, and I'll, I'll sh show you how to do it. Okay, first thing you're gonna wanna do to kinda get your vehicle ready is open it up and set the parking brake. Now, I don't really trust my parking brake. It's been kinda glitchy in the past. So I'm also going to uh, go ahead and use my blocks, put them behind the wheels, cause I'm gonna be jacking the vehicle up and I don't want it moving anywhere cause I don't wanna have to be repairing the bumper cause it runs into the, garage door or something so that's the first thing we want to do then we'll go ahead and jack up the vehicle my bad guys I almost forgot before we can jack up the vehicle I almost made a beginner mistake we gotta go ahead and get into the oh my goodness. we're gonna go ahead and loosen up all the lug nuts on your wheel so that they're loose to the touch so that you can basically move them with your fingers don't want them any loose we don't want to take them off we don't want to this vehicle sitting right now on a wheel that's not connected to it so just loosen it to your finger touch basically and then uh then we can jack the vehicle up and i can't believe i almost forgot about that 
Which is ridiculous, sad. <laughs> Shouldn't be given advice. Now that we got the vehicle up and secured, what we're going to do is uh, go ahead and get this part off the vacuum. And what we're going to want to do is I took my X-Acto because it's the easiest because sometimes these, you know, it's just pain. So I took the X-Acto and I cut around here where it's connected to plastic and here on the other end where it's connected to plastic and I got this whole hose off of the other vacuum which is the one I actually used. Basically when you got this whole part off, you then take it in the middle and you cut it in the middle so you have two pretty equal sections that we can use one on either side for the hosing for uh, our brake system. Now as you can see I've already installed my system like a while back actually and this video is really just to show you guys how I did it so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your hose and don't worry about connecting this side to anything yet first off what we want to do is get it connected over here to uh, some part of the vehicle that's where it's not going to you not going to get in the way of anything that's moving. You really, really, really want to keep this hose out of the way of anything that that's moving. And as you can see, right at this point, right around here, um, this hose obviously I didn't check it well enough, and it got in the way of the wheel that was moving, and it's uh, ripped off part of the hose ripped off ripped the chunk out of the hose here so um, I'm gonna go ahead and readjust this but one of the things you want to keep in mind is your hose needs to one obviously stay out of the way of anything that's moving and two you want to make sure the end of your hose here is pointing directly into the center of the rotor because the way these rotors cool down is they cool down from the inside to the outside edge so they cool down from the center to the outside and so you want to make sure this is pointed toward the center because that's the way that it'll cool the fastest is from the center to the outside so you want to make sure that I'm gonna move this hose mine I'm gonna move mine up a little bit and so it's still pointing at the center but it's up out of the way of that wheel so it doesn't get shredded and uh, yeah it's really simple really you just point it at the center keep it out of the way of moving parts and that's installed on this side, just like that. Okay, so this next part is actually one of the harder parts to do. And that's finding a place on the front of your vehicle where you can mount the scoop to take in the air. Uh, luckily for me, I had just recently replaced these giant lights that used to sit in here, the big fog lights with these small LED bars. So I had this big open space where I could mount my little scoop to get the air in. So luckily I had this, um, it might be harder on other vehicles to find a space to do that. I would not suggest drilling holes, I mean if you really want to you can and that's totally fine, it's up to you, it's your vehicle, but you can also just mount them. If you put them a little far back underneath the very bottom of your bumper nobody will see them under there and if you have enough ground clearance it, it, it won't scrape or anything. And that. That probably the most ideal if you didn't have an, a good spot like this to, to mount them. So yeah, you're going to want to find a spot and uh, next we'll bring the hose to it and make our scoop out of our pop bottles. Okay, so next I'm going to show you guys how to make the scoop out of the pop bottle and we're just going to go ahead and take our pop bottle and you see this kind of edge on the bottle that runs all the way around the bottle. I'm just going to go ahead and take my X-Acto knife ah, I can get in there and cut all the way around this edge, around the entire bottle. Just kind of trying to cut this top part off. Once you got that off, you can see that this thing's practically made to be a little scoop, a little miniature scoop. Just unscrew the cap and boom, just like that. You got a scoop that'll take the air in from the front and feed it into, uh, into your pipe. Okay, here's a look underneath the car, what it looks like. Uh, this is that space I just showed you that was perfect and literally I just drilled a hole in the back of it about the size of this pipe, ran the pipe through and uh, taped it to my scoop and that was it. The scoop sits now in front there and the pipe runs. I zip tied it along the way to keep it kind of secured in there. I 
don't really know how many times you want to zip tie it to the frame, just enough times to keep it kind of from going anywhere. And uh, as you can see, it just takes the air from the scoop all the way back and straight down to behind the rotor, just like that. That's basically the whole system. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. Kind of hard to screw it up. I mean, somebody will find a way, but. That's really the, uh, the just of the whole system. Now, one a couple things you want to keep in mind for the system, you want to do it for both sides. That way, uh, both are running just as efficient as each other and your vehicle is not favoring either side when it's breaking from the front. Also, another thing you want to keep in mind, keep it out of moving parts. We don't want it getting all locked up in the wheels. That would be awful. You'd be ruining your vehicle instead of it, uh, helping it out. Uh, also, like I said before, and I've said a thousand times in this video already, keep it pointed towards the middle of the rotor. Rotors cool most efficiently from the center out, so that's the best way to get the most bang for your buck. And uh, really, this is easiest, cheap, cheap, <laughs> cheapest, cheapest system to make. And uh, it's that's, that's really it. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video, for showing your uh, love and support. You guys are awesome. Keep watching YouTube videos, everybody. So I love YouTube. Um, if you have any comments or anything, any suggestions, maybe for a future video or how I could have done this video better, please leave comments on this video, and I will get to them as soon as you, as soon as I can. Uh, thank you so much, YouTube fam. It's good to be back.